Hello, everyone. Welcome to the World Builders Anvil Tuesday tidbit for episode 263, Darker, Darker, Darkest. My name is Jeffrey W. Ingram. I am the founder and co-host of the World Builders Anvil podcast. And every Tuesday at approximately 1.30 Eastern Standard Time, I like to go live on Facebook and uh, talk about something I missed, the missed moment. And today the missed moment is, you know, why do we always want to make things darker? Now, uh, tell me in the comments below if you've ever had this moment, and hopefully I actually have audio this time. Um, but tell me in the comments below if you've ever, you know, had, had that feeling where it's like, I, I want to make this work darker. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, uh, I want to make this, you know, the the most realistic dialogue ever or the the world the most you know you start obsessing over one particular tidbit of uh whatever your creative project is whether you're you're storytelling whether you're writing a book whether you're creating a game whatever you're working on um i think many of us artists have this moment and when i was thinking about what i want to talk about today i kind of thought back to uh monster vision with joe bob briggs and I don't know if any of you saw it. it. Used to be on TNT years ago, and I used to go out. And for his own protection, here I will say Godzilla, my friend Godzilla. Uh, I would go up and watch this uh, with him. And Joe Bob would go through and watch movies, uh, cult classics, B movies, and he would kind of make fun of them and do sort of critical stuff uh, between commercial breaks. And one time he was about Highlander, and he was joking about how in an interview. Uh, the writer said he, he wanted to make it darker, but you know, he was held back by the system, by the man, and it was way too goofy for him. Now there's nothing wrong with way too goofy. Um, we all have those moments where things are way too goofy, uh, you know, than what we want. Uh, but you know, the thing is, what is that underlying thing that, that gets us stuck in this idea where we need to take something further? You know, and I think a lot of times, you know, I think it's usually a reaction to what we know about the genre we're working in. So if you're writing a fantasy thing, you know, the 800 pound gorilla is Lord of the Rings. And so you write something in reaction to Lord of the Rings, something like I'm thinking about, you know, would be Game of Thrones. And where they seem very similar on the surface, you know, the major difference thematically is you have a king in Lord of the Rings, <laughs> spoiler alert who comes through and uh, saves saves the day for everyone. And in Game of Thrones, no matter what happens, uh, the Game of Thrones never ends. And uh, so, you know, th there's the difference, you know, in, in, in very simplistic terms between grimdark and fantasy, epic fantasy specifically. And, um, and I, I don't know what uh, George R.R. R. Martin's a reason was for doing this um and it was probably a reaction you know to uh the thing that everyone was holding up and not to make fun of it but to say you know maybe this is the way he thought it would be better for whatever reason this is his version the way he would do it at least in this specific story and i think beyond just like maybe a reaction reason you know it could just be a expression of our taste maybe we have darker taste or desires, you know, that we like to express in our artwork. And um, that's fine too. That's I think another great reason. But the thing I get concerned on is I think for some people, the reason they obsess over a particular thing, whether it's the quality of the world, whether it is um, making it darker or the best dialogue ever is because they're on their path to creating their magnum opus. And a magnum opus is a great thing to aspire to, but it's ultimately nothing you ever get to choose. And it's the, the choice of, you know, society as a whole. And going, you know, you don't get to choose what your magnum opus is. So I think from an artistic standpoint, if you're trying to create a magnum opus, you're taking the wrong approach to your work. You know, just put your effort into making it the best work that you can possibly do. Um, and that's really, uh, I think, the missed moment here is, you know, you know, how can, you know, why do artists sometimes get stuck with this idea of things being dark? And, you know, I think a couple of the possible reasons why. Maybe I missed a reason. Let me know below in the comments. And for those of you who get stuck on world building and you want to learn more about my naturalistic framework, 
uh, go to uh, www.howtoworldbuild.com slash soon. That's S-O-O-N. And actually on the first, I will be doing, I'll be releasing content to the people on that list, letting them know uh, they'll get the the first tidbit of what's coming. So um, there's already been a pre-announcement on there and uh, the official announcement will be coming out on the first. So I want to thank you all very much for taking your time and listening to the show. I will see you next time. And hopefully I have audio this time. Hey.